Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share 13 tips on how I keep dog or out of my home and these are all things that I do on a regular basis. Okay, so the first tip I have is to use a good quality air purifier with a true HEPA filter in your home. And this air purifier is by Lavoit and it has a three-stage filtration system, which is activated carbon, HEPA, and pre-filters. And I run this every single night before I go to bed. And the whole purpose of having one is to clean your air of dog dander, allergens, dust, pollen, and bacteria. And it's gonna provide you with fresh, clean air. So this air purifier is super easy to use. All you do is just power it on and you can set it on an auto mode which automatically sets the speed of the fan depending on your current air quality at the time or you can manually run it by choosing between three fan speeds which are low, normal, and high. And you can also set a timer which you can set it to run for up to 12 hours at a time. And if you don't like the LED display, there's a button to turn that off as well. And lastly, there is a sleep mode button which sets it to run at the lowest setting possible so it's super quiet. Now I'm going to remove the filter and all you do is just pop the back off and pull the tab at the top and it comes right out. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to show you how much I actually love having an air purifier in my home and how well it really does clean the air. And as you can see by my filter here, it is super dirty. You just don't realize how much stuff is in your air until you actually have proof of it like this. And if you want to check this air purifier out, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. My next tip is to open your windows and air out your house whenever you can. Anytime the weather is nice, I always take advantage and open my windows because there's nothing like clean, fresh air circulating throughout your house just to get rid of that stale air that's floating around and all those unwanted smells. And it also gives your central air unit a break from running all the time. Next is to buy good quality air filters for your home. The better the quality, the better it's gonna catch those smaller particles in the air, including all that dog dander, dust, mold spores, and just so much more. This is gonna provide extra clean air for your home. And when it comes time to changing them, I always write the date on top of the filters of when I install them, just so I can make sure I replace them on time, just in case I forgot how long they've been in use. My fourth tip is to use an essential oil diffuser and diffuse oils that are gonna aid in cleaning and purifying your air. And my favorite essential oil is called Purify by Eden's Garden. It's an all natural disinfectant and neutralizer, and it's gonna make your home smell amazingly clean. It's a blend of lemongrass, lime, lemon, grapefruit, and eucalyptus. Next is to simply use candles. And some of my favorite candles I get are from Bath and Body Works because in my opinion, they give off the best aroma, making my house smell amazing while covering up dog odor. And candles are always great to use to cover up dog odor quickly when you have guests coming over and you don't have time to clean. My next tip is to wash all your dog's blankets and their dog beds regularly. And I also wash other linens around the house like my couch blankets that they may lay on as well. And usually I do this about twice a week. Sometimes I don't have time to do it that often, but I definitely don't go longer than a week without washing them.
If you've watched my laundry routine video on my channel, you know I don't like to draw blankets in the dryer because I think they smell even better when they're hung up to dry. And since it's nice outside today, I'm just gonna go out there and hang everything up on my clothesline. And also, sunshine will help deodorize the blankets even more. So if you use crates for your dogs like I do, my next tip is to wipe out their crates regularly. The pans can get so nasty and smelly over time and I also feed my dogs in their crates and they always leave a mess after eating, whether it's food or slobber. So it's really important to me to keep those clean. And for my cleaner today, I'm just using Method Multi-Spray and the scent Grapefruit. My next tip and one of my most important ones is to vacuum. Vacuum as much as you can when you can. I just cannot say this enough. You wanna get rid of that dog hair and dog dander that has fallen onto the floor as quickly as you can. The longer that it sits there, then the worse that it's gonna be for that bad dog smell to accumulate and linger throughout your house. And also, I like to vacuum my hard floors because sweeping just stirs up the dust and dog hair in the air and it's just gonna settle back onto the floor. And with vacuuming, it sucks it up the first time without doing that. So this is my Bobby Pet Robotic Vacuum that I do run during the week for a maintenance clean. It does a fantastic job clearing the floors of dog hair and dander in the meantime until I need to detail vacuum again. While vacuuming is important, it's also important to mop your floors, which is my next tip. You wanna scrub away that dirt and grime that can come from your dog that doesn't always get picked up by your vacuum. And this is my Spin Mop by O'Cedar, and it is my favorite mop ever. It just scrubs so well. And I usually use Mrs. Meyers Concentrates for a cleaner. Next is to shampoo your carpets. Carpets can trap dog hair, dander, dust, dirt, and smells deep down into the fibers, and vacuuming doesn't always pick that up. My dogs lay all over the carpet, and that stinky dog smell always transfers from them onto the carpet, and it makes it smell bad and look dirty. So I use my Bissell Pro Heat Lift Off Pet Carpet Cleaner about two to three times a year to fix that problem. And for the shampoo, I like to use Bissell Professional Pet Urine and Pet Odor Eliminator. And this shampoo who does a really good job deodorizing the carpet. My 11th tip is to maintain a clean vacuum cleaner. I always clean the brush roll to make sure it's clear of debris, just so when I go to vacuum, I know that the brushes are clear to properly pick up the dirt and the dust and the dog hair from the floor. And I didn't show this, but I also wipe down the brush roll with an antibacterial wipe. Next, I'm gonna remove the filters, and you can see just how dirty mine are in this up-close clip. And all I do to clean them is just run hot water through them until that water turns clear. Having dirty filters can hoard dog hair and dander and everything else that make your vacuum smell bad. So when you run your vacuum, the air filtering through a dirty filter makes that air stink, and you're just blowing that all throughout your home. So that's why it's really important to keep a clean filter so you can reduce and eliminate that nasty, dirty smell. I also like to wash out the canister with dish soap and warm water because that can smell pretty bad too and mine doesn't have any electrical parts in it so I am able to do this. I would like to wash out the tubes in my vacuum as well but those are all connected to electrical parts and I don't want to get those wet. Now onto my most important tip of all, groom your dogs regularly. I do this every week and a half to two weeks, but I do not go any longer than two weeks. Giving them a bath is gonna remove all that odor and dirt and grime, making them smell so much better. I do have a more elaborate video on my channel showing how I do my in-home dog grooming routine, so I'll leave that down in the description box below if you wanna check that out. 
So for my last and final tip, if you allow your dogs on your couch like I do, then you need to clean your couch. Vacuum it regularly to remove all that dog hair and dander and dust and wash your removable covers if you have those. And to eliminate dog odor on cushion covers that are not removable, you can use Everyday Odor Eliminator by EnviroCleanse and that will solve that problem. I've used tons of products in the past and this is the only one that really, really works for me. And you can find my complete instructional couch cleaning and dog odor removal video in the description box below. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found these tips helpful and useful. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.